Come on, come on, come on. Let's open up the parcel, see what we've got. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> they have to be awfully big ones. <laughs> no, it's, it's the wrong address. No. Oh. This is for a professor, Richard Muck Richard. <laughs> Trafficking Terrace Young Ladies Hospital. <laughs> Research Department. Please rush my love item to me. <laughs> I am over 18. <laughs> oh, bugger, and it looks so damnedly intriguing. <sighs> you all right, Richie? What? Well, yeah, yeah, just trying to think fast, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's good. <laughs> That'll work. Uh, <laughs> Read me that name again, would you, Andy? Uh, Professor Richard Muck. Richard, yes, of course. I'm being stupid. <laughs> surprise me. What? I said, surprise me. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> My testicles. <laughs> oh, yes, of course, Professor Richard Muck. Richard. Yep. Yes, now then, he's my uh, Scottish relative, you know. Oh, yes. yes. And he's a professor, you see, and he asked me to look after some items of, uh, of a medical nature <laughs> for him while he's away in... Uh, uh, oh, me, gummy, gummy, gum, gum, gum land. <laughs> right, I'd better just uh, open it up and check that it, it's all there. <gasps> Yeah, that all seems to be in order. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, ooh, is that the time? Do you know, I think I'll turn in early tonight, Eddie. What do you mean, it's only half past ten in the morning? Oh, stop being so pedantic. We've only just found out it's Monday, for fuck's sake. <laughs> right up. Nighty night, Eddie. See you in the morning. If I've still got the power of sight. <laughs> Good. He's gone. and the 15 grand that's owing. Yes, well, I was just wondering, um, if something should happen to Richard, uh, yeah, I mean, nothing serious, you know, just should he, uh, stop living uh, <laughs> for a while, <laughs> who would the 15 grand that's owed pass on to? I see, the next of kin. Now, is that a sort of blood relative? Or could it be your kind of best drinking buddy of a Saturday night kind of guy? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> well, how do you get to be next of kin then? Yes, marriage. Yeah. Or adoption. <laughs> oh, oh. All right, well, thank you very much, Mr. Bastard, and uh, good morning. <laughs> My name, uh, uh, J.R. Hartley. <laughs> Delighted to send a signed picky, yes. Yeah, uh, and, and a test tube full of my love juice. <laughs> right, well, thank you very much, Mr. Morning, and good bastard. <laughs> oh. This is it, Eddie. This is the big one! And I don't mean that crap sitcom on Channel 4 with Sandy Toxvig in it. Who? <laughs> 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 What's that disgusting smell? Have you been saying Sandy 
talks big again. <laughs> Sorry, Rich. Well, don't. You know it brings on my eczema. Uh, where are your trousers? What? Uh, oh, they blew off in a storm, Eddie. <laughs> uh, listen, Eddie. Have you got the pump? <laughs> no, it's just the way I'm standing. <laughs> It's a euphemism. It's come on, on and on it goes. Oh, look, it's no double entendre. Uh, it's just a straight question. Okay. Have you got the pump? No. The only pump we've got is that big electric one that Gusty O. Windflap had installed, remember? When he was rehearsing his adult variety act. The human balloon. Gusty a wonderful <laughs> laugh. <laughs> now, whatever happened to him? He was spread over four counties, remember? When the nozzle got accidentally lodged in his rectum. <laughs> so he was, so he was. What a dreadfully sad thing to happen to anyone. How we laughed. <laughs> <laughs> he was a one-off. Yeah. I've heard about being blown off, but that took some beating. Yeah. <laughs> they had to close the high street, do you remember? So they did, so they did. <gasps> gusty, 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 gusty. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, well, who gives a fuck about him? The cunt's dead anyway, so... <laughs> so what you're saying is that, Eddie, the only pump in the house is right here, in the drawing room. That's right, me old cock-a-leaky mate, flap sparrow, cockney rhyming bollocks. <laughs> and it can't be moved from here. Uh, no. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> so, uh, oh, what are you doing today, Eddie? Well, it's a Monday, isn't it? You know, start of a new week. New prospects, new horizons. So, you know, I think I might just sit on the sofa and wait till Emmerdale comes on the telly. <laughs> Which could be some considerable time. <laughs> Why, what are you doing today, Rich? Just hanging about the flat till I go out so you can have a wank? <laughs> <laughs> Who tells you these things? Are you a member of the occult? What did you just call me? <laughs> a member of the occult. Right, that's it, matey. Cause a bloody horrible smell. <sighs> Eau de toilette. <laughs> it's what? This, Eddie, is the latest fragrance from Paris. Well, they're having trouble with their sewers again. <laughs> Look, Eddie, if you really must know, uh -huh. I mean, if you really, really must know, I, oh, I uh, have got a bird coming round. <laughs> a bird? Yes, a bird. A real bird. A real great big bird with real great big wobbly knockers hanging off her like they're going out of fashion. <laughs> so I don't want you cluttering up the place, polluting the atmos with your foul dog breath and spoiling my chances. Because I'll tell you what, my old mate, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'm bloody well on here. On! 100% cert. Oh, she's blind! <laughs> 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 